Hi, I'm Emily, the lead 3D artist here at CSN. I'm going to show you how to turn something like this into something like this using CSN's image to 3D AI. So the first thing to do is we are going to throw in any image into CSM and generate a bunch of clothing or accessories uh, to fit onto this character. You're going to click on the one you want and download it as an OBJ and go ahead and throw it into Blender. Now that we have it in Blender, it's going to be all about trying to fit this onto our mesh. We're going to want her back into the rest mode and we are going to position the jacket and kind of push it and pull it to where it is covering up her body where we want it to be. This can be a bit tedious at times, but it's totally worth it and it's really easy to do. As you can see, I'm matching it up to where her arms lay and I am matching it up where the hands are as well. Um, it's easy to see if it's poking through the mesh because you'll see her skin kind of poking through. Uh, just pull it or uh, inflate it a little bit and it should be fine. So the next thing I like to do is kind of indent where the uh, holes of the clothes would be. So where her neck is, uh, you can tell in the generated mesh it's kind of just a full uh, flat mesh. So I want to indent it to where the hole of the neck would be. And I'll do that for both the neck and the uh, arm openings and the underneath as well to make it look a bit more natural. As you can see, I attached the jacket the same way as I did in both part one and part two. Um, it's the same thing for what we did for the underwear and the shorts. Um, it should be matching, but if you get this mistake, um, just go ahead and go back and just deflate the arms a bit. That just means that it's a bit too close to her legs. Uh, easy fix. Um, Nothing complicated. Just go ahead and deflate it a little bit just like that and it should be fine once you do it again. to attach the hair to the rig. We're going to select the hair and then select our rig. We're going to go into pose mode and we will be selecting the bone that we want to join the either hair or accessory to. Um, for this, I'm going to join it to the bone, the head bone. Um, that's so when the head bone moves, the hair will also move. And that's exactly what I want. It might be the same if you're doing a hat or anything that is on top of the head of your avatar. You can double check to make sure it's working all right by going back to the pose mode. And yep, it is moving with the rig. That's exactly what we want. So we are doing this stage setup. Um, it's super simple, nothing crazy. You can go a bit crazier, it's all up to your liking. I just added a flat plane as a background with some base color, and then I added a spotlight and a point light for some light. Um, in order to get this camera to be more vertical than horizontal, you're just going to go to the output knob on the side, and you are just going to switch the around and it should make it vertical. I 
And you can see I went ahead and added a bunch of different accessories like shoes, shorts, and jacket, and the glasses, and they were attached the same way as the ones I showed you as well. And everything seems to be working just right. So the last thing we're going to talk about is how to render this out as an animation. You're going to go to the output log. You are going to put where you want the video to end up in a folder, and then you're going to select, make sure it's selected on video. Um, and then you are going to go to the up, upper left hand side, go to render and then render animation. And it might take a little while, but you should have something similar to this. Um, you can have fun with it. You can show off your topology, more outfits. Um, this was a very fun video to do, and we would love to see anything you guys come up with. Uh, thanks for watching.